got um, struggling with the isolation aspect of your journey with me. It's not that I don't understand that we have to pull away from people and seasons to draw closer to you. That there's something you want to do in all of us that requires our undivided attention. That requires us not to be surrounded by any other influence but yours. I know that it's not just a matter of being pulled out of the world system, but away from people that the devil can use that has access to us that could puppeteer us, that can negatively impact us. I don't mind so much not the social aspect with people hanging out, chatting, just having a girlfriend, a guy friend, just just for friend's sake, for comfort. What I mind is that, but I'm also happy about, is that I can't share with anybody what it is that I'm going through. I am spending time with you and you are revealing such amazing, incredible things to me. Things that are outside of this world. How can I help people to understand that there's something major here happening? How can I let people know these exciting things that I'm discovering? That I'm actually able to listen in on conversations that are going on in heaven because you allow them to be revealed to me. That you are speaking to me in my sleep and having conversations. That they are having conversations. You're having conversations with me in the midst of conversations. That you are preparing me for a purpose that movies have been written about. I'm struggling to grasp the reality of the things you've shown me, the things you reveal to me, the things you are doing right now in this moment to process me. There's never a dull moment with you, God. You really do take every single moment and make the best out of them. But I can't share those moments with others. I am consumed by you because I've given my life to you. It's almost as though it I it is. I've went away with you. How do I stay away with you in the presence of others? I I don't even understand this. There is so much going on within me as a person God like I am a being and what I was before I was just a person that was operating blindly in this world that was just thinking about what maybe I could do who maybe I could be what I can explore today what I should do you have transitioned me into a working piece of art. I'm a laboratory. I'm being worked on every aspect of my being. 
one moment we're dealing with matters of the heart another moment we're thinking uh we're working on matters of my mind in other ways you are informing my very soul in other ways you are trying and testing my body and getting me to work in spiritual um spiritual warfare and things of this nature there are so many layers and complexities of things that you're working in that i'm not even aware of i'm like a walking laboratory here <laughs> my whole world is no longer a world it's like i'm in a computerized a computer generated world that is just a simulation of yours to be able to train me to teach me to it's insane where am i what is happening I'm in intense training, intense processing. And I'm just in conversation all day. With who? With what? With how could I explain that? I know it's with you. <laughs> but in my own being, there is so much taking place. How do I even connect with the average individual with all this? <laughs> Someone asked me, how's my day? Someone asked me, how am I doing today? Because I have no worldly markers that can def be defined by the world. I don't even know how to explain it. People look at me and they want to establish a routine. They're trying to figure me out. They don't know. I don't know. They ask me, are you going to work out today? Uh, I don't know. I don't think that's the season God has me. And I don't know if I'm doing that today. I, I'm figuring it out. I don't know. <laughs> what are you going to do today? I don't have a clue. I think I'm doing something, but I don't know. At any given moment, it could shift. I'm just kind of living by the will of God. <laughs> Not kind of. I am. I'm trying. And even that's a process. <sighs> I'm so excited when I get on social media and clap, catch a glimpse of someone that's going through the same thing. That has the greatest personal trainer in the world. And when I say personal trainer, I mean that in every aspect. <laughs> Training me in all things, spiritual and natural. Yeah. A trainer with no limitation. A life coach, a pastor, a priest, a teacher. I could be in the presence of many but who do I connect with I light up when someone speaks of God but our exposure to God is most likely not to be the same so even we are speaking a different language I realized how much you grew and developed me in dealing with other people. And I spoke to someone the other day and after three minutes, I was like, oh, I don't have to talk to this somebody. I don't, I'm not getting anything from it. I checked with you and you said, no, I don't have to talk to him. There's nothing here for you. And I went on about my way. I just wasn't even interested. <laughs> I don't even know what we were talking about. Nothing. Cause we wasn't talking about you. What am I to do with this? <laughs> I don't even know what the question really is, God. I just, uh, help me. Can you give me something, Lord? Just help me. <laughs>